Okay, hi guys, and welcome to the show. Today, something a little bit different, uh, just a quick review of this absolutely astounding pen. Now, I'll be completely honest with you, I wasn't expecting to review a pen. I, I have reviewed pens um, before, a long, long time ago, but I was so impressed by the story behind this pen, um, what it can do for the money. It, it's just unbelievable. Uh, now, of course, before I get into it, I'll do a quick wristwatch check. And rather fittingly, I'm wearing uh, my Breitling Chronospace. I, honestly, I did not intend. <laughs> I did not intend to wear this watch. Uh, space is obviously the most important word there, um, and I've, I've still yet to review this piece, um, which I will do at some point. But I, I'm in no rush. I've got so many great new watches coming in. So why am I reviewing this pen? Well, I had initially bought one uh, as a gift for a friend and I was so taken aback by just how amazing this item is. And subsequently I found out about its amazing history and its involvement with the space program that I just had to buy another one for myself. And it's quite possibly one of the best pens I've ever owned in my entire life. Now, you guys know I'm a big uh, Parker Jota fan, something of a family tradition, uh, which are very affordable. I don't go into the whole fountain pen. Um, you know, I'm I'm <laughs> I'm dyslexic and barely literate as it is. So, uh, um, yeah, writing is not a big thing for me. But I do like to to have uh, some kind of basic writing instrument on me. So let's discuss a little bit of history about the Fisher pen because I think it's absolutely fascinating. Fisher was founded in 1948 by Paul C. Fisher who was a inventor. Before making pens, uh, Paul worked in an airplane propeller factory during World War II. It was there he gained the valuable experience on ball bearings, the knowledge that would come in handy further down the road in uh, creating these ball points. He went on to invent the universal refill ink cartridge. Uh, which is in turn led him to create the first anti-gravity pen. Although it's, it's a popular misconception that NASA invested millions of dollars developing this uh, anti-gravity writing instrument is simply not true. The fact of the matter is that Paul had been working on the design for years and after thousands and thousands of tests, he came up with this very unique system that um, basically it's a hermetically sealed pressurized uh, cartridge pressurized with nitrogen gas and features a tungsten carbide ballpoint tip, the same extra hard metal used for armor piercing ammunition. So no longer relying on gravity to, to, to push the ink out. The pens are able to function at literally any angle, even upside down. And in order to prevent leaks uh, from the gas pressure, the ink has to be thick. So the actual ink is more of a, a gel rather than, than a liquid, uh, especially when it is at rest and that with a consistency similar to toothpaste. Um, it's only when the pressure is applied to the ballpoint that the ink uh, takes on a, a more of a, a viscous form and it then becomes spreadable and you are able to write. So um, this was an absolutely ingenious invention. The very first pressurized cartridges were released in 1966 and that was the AG7, um, AG standing for anti-gravity. And it was then subsequently approved by NASA for the space mission, which we have a medallion here for Apollo 11. There you go, there it is. And what is extraordinary is that it is still used on absolutely every single manned mission by NASA to this day and uh, beyond. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, Russian cosmonauts started using them as well. Now the brand is still family owned to this day. They're in their third generation, made completely in America. It's something really of an American success story. And since 1948, they've uh, made something like 400 million pens. It's just wonderful. So how is the actual pen itself? The result is a pen that is guaranteed to perform in temperatures of, of minus 30 Fahrenheit to plus 240 degrees Fahrenheit. It works underwater in zero gravity at any, any angle, uh, which of course is perfect for um, astronauts um, and has since been used by um, law enforcement, the military. Still to this very day, hand assembled, hand tested, each pen is 
is uh, tested thoroughly before it leaves the factory and it's just it's just phenomenal and this AG7 is historically accurate to the original so hard as nails I must point out that they have a variety of all different pens all different uh, styles it's designed for specific tasks um, they even have one designed for people working on oil rigs in really harsh, tough conditions. And obviously these pens are, are just marvellous, especially if you're in uh, an environment that, that has extreme temperature changes. In fact, Fisher pens were used on various expeditions to Everest, uh, I, I believe in the 90s as well. So as you can imagine, very practical for whatever the world throws at you, so to speak. So let's look at the pen itself. Well, on first glance, it's remarkably elegant comes in this high polished uh, chrome entirely entirely high polished finish little engraved um, circles at the end for extra grip the weight is exactly five ounces and it's got a wonderful weight distribution this and I, I'm, I'm really not exaggerating is a pleasure to write with just sits in the hand beautifully and confidently it's quite heavy compared to my old jotter but obviously it's built like an absolute <laughs> tank so it's just over 5.1 inches long it's about 9.2 uh, millimeters thick it has a, a quite an interesting way of deploying the actual um, ballpoint you just click down on the end here and it comes out and to retract it you push the little pusher there so very easy I love the action of it it's quite satisfying well the positives are well it's, it's, it's very stylish it's very elegant it's simple it's classic it still looks as great uh, as it did in the 60s I mean it's a timeless design undoubtedly uh, the quality is there, it feels very solid, far more solid than the Jotter. Um, but what is quite interesting is that this is only three times the cost of the Jotter and it's made in the USA. I was quite shocked at how affordable these are. You've got the clip there so you can put it in your pocket. The biggest advantage for me certainly is the fact that with this special ink you can have it in a drawer for, for, for six months, six years and you pull it out and it just starts working immediately. It's quite extraordinary. You know when on ballpoints you, you don't use it for a while and you, and you have to kind of scribble to get it going and then sometimes it doesn't. Um, the only downfall of that is to get the, the refills you have to order it from direct either from Fisher or nowadays you can get it on Amazon and this is where I bought mine. There'll be a link to my store and you can buy it on my Amazon store. I'll be putting it in my EDC quite a bit and ultimately it's the perfect accessory to go with, well let's say for me, my current space watch. Well actually I have the G-Shock as well, I went to space but uh, mine is the Fortis official cosmonaut. This is a rare Le Mania. 5100 movement um, but if you're a Speedmaster fan in fact actually I think this would complement Speedmaster far better because of its high polish finish that's my only negative I only have one negative is that I wish there was one that was satinato or, or, or with a finish like my um, Fortis that would have just been perfect is it worth three times as much than than my trusty Jota I, well I'd say it's worth five six times as much honestly i'm quite shocked that this is only about 35 bucks amazing value for money and of course you get it in a nice little box you get a, a, a lifetime guarantee and you're supporting an american company i believe they're in nevada in um, boulder city to be exact anyway guys i'm going to keep it short and sweet but definitely gets a massive thumbs up from me um, just a wonderful wonderful pen uh, fascinating bit of american history a, American ingenuity, innovation, uh, but something that you can own. And I think they make a great gift as well, which is how I kind of came about this. Um, but of course, I bought one for myself. Anyway, link down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and found it useful. And as always, guys, I will catch you in the next one. Okay, ciao.